It's time for a rhyme through time. A rhyme through time in the brain damaged mind of uh, Tristan Morgan. Good morning, Tristan. How you going, new Wemo? Very well. How's the week been this week? Oh, it hasn't been too bad, eh? It's been, oh, the weather's been a bit cooler, hasn't it? It has been uh, a little bit, uh, yes, yes, a little bit of a, um, a, a winterly flick. It's like a, or like a roller coaster ride spring, isn't it? You know, you get the warm high periods and you get the low cool periods and round around. Sounds, and like, the, sounds like the weather to me. It does, eh? You didn't ring me up today to talk about the weather, did you? No, 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 no. Anyway, the other day, I, um, someone lost their cell phone at work. Um, in the in their room, so I had to go get it. And they checked in and they knew that it was missing, so I bought it back and I gave it to the van driver who drops people off at the airport. And the van went over my foot, Lemo. Oh, oh yeah. no! Oh, yeah, so another injury. Another injury. If I just haven't got past my last one, but this one, Lemo, this time it didn't hurt me. It didn't. No, so it might be that perception thing, eh? Well, well, so, so, so it. It ran over. What, what was? I mean, what happened? You felt no pain? No, no. It just went on like normal with your webo. Really? Just, but, it, it was just was it the front wheel, back wheel? How did this? How did this front happen? Front wheel. Front wheel. Yeah. And so the, the van went. Doof, it went over like it. You know, made a movement. Did it? Did the van acknowledge your presence? Did it acknowledge your foot? Yeah. Not. Not acknowledge my foot. What? What actually happened? It was stationary, and then then the van driver. Um, Took, took the bake off and it fell back on my foot. Oh, I said, oh, so it rolled yeah. back. So, and and then it rolled straight off again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 what what sort of footwear were you wearing? Oh, just just black black leather shoes, dear Wemo. You know the usual for for work. And you and no no damage. Oh, I don't know. Leather might be imitation leather. There. It looks like leather. I don't know. You know. Right. Yeah. yeah sure. Leather. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So you didn't you just didn't feel a thing, and the, and the foot was fine. You carried on walking. Yeah, but but I have taken precautions. I um, filled an, an ACC slip, you know, just in case. You, know. <laughs> you filled an ACC slip, even though there was no injury. Yeah. Oh, you got you got to take these precautions, there, Wemo. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have to go and visit the doctor? No, nah, no, nah, I didn't have to go visit the doctor. I won't, I won't go visit him unless something happens, there, Wemo. <laughs> but you filled in the <laughs> ACC form. Good on you. Oh, you know, you got to cover your bases here, Wemo, don't oh, you? Sure, and just in case uh, there's some kind of delayed reaction, I suppose you wake up the next day in pain or something, I, I suppose so. You, you never know where life will take you, do you? That's right. Did you see much red dust this year with you, Wemo? Not, no, I didn't. No, no. Right. no well, see, uh, see the uh, Sahara blew on uh, some fear of freaking jo- geographers, you know. Yeah. Reckon that the Sahara over millions of years or hundreds of thousands of years Blew over to Italy and Spain, and Italy and France, and, and that's why that area is fertile. All oh, right, they enjoyed enjoyed the fertile soil that blew off. See, I, I don't think the the soil that's blowing off the outback of Australia is very fertile. I don't think we need it here. I think we've got better soil here. No, no. Do you reckon there's been more natural calamities there, where I? <laughs> yeah, quite. well, that's that, I guess that's the question that's going to be asked. This week, so you got the, yeah, two earthquakes in, in 24 hours. Yeah, um, pretty strong ones too, aren't they, you know? There's been one in Peru, apparently, as well. Somewhere yeah. at six on the Richter scale. Yeah, I mean, imagine something like eight, eight, eight points on the Richter scale going through Wellington or Christchurch. Mm. Well, let, let's, I mean, here's the thing, when it, especially when it comes to earthquakes, I think that's a little bit separate to to uh, the climate and to storms, although some would say oh, yeah. that, that they are related, but... Uh, you know, I mean, it's hard to tell because a hundred years ago, these things were, you know, you just didn't know that they were happening around the world. The, the news... That's right, and the media plays a role in the way we receive information. Everything's so instant now, and so we like to draw um, comparisons and, and lines between two and say, oh, they're related, oh, the world's coming to an end, it's Armageddon, you know, yeah. whatever. I think there would be much too many science fiction movies That's here, it. Weber. yeah. Anyway, speaking of movies, I saw that wrestler movie with Mickey Rourke. That's good, isn't it? Oh, it's pretty good. He deserved an Oscar, didn't Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Got yeah. a you know why I reckon he didn't get an Oscar? Because it was too real to life, I reckon that. Eh? Yeah, was well, a, it was a realistic story. Eh, he was up know? against Sean Penn as well, and and Milk was was pretty good, and Sean yeah. Sean Penn's portrayal of Harvey Milk. So. Yeah, it was a toughie. It was a toughie. Um, I felt from after seeing the rest, I was going, "Oh man, it deserves an Oscar." But that that movie really polarized some people. I saw it with saw it with someone else, and they went, "No, nah, no, nah, didn't, didn't enjoy it." Eh? 
So yeah, um, it's he, he plays a really good role, doesn't he? Something with his top. Yep. Oh, absolutely. And, and whether I've been doing more research on my essay of space dreams. Oh, yep. And what have you dreamed this week? Well, space dreams. Yeah, when I was also I was speaking to a psychologist once. You know, my my previous adventures when I used to go see psychologists. And, and I told him I I read somewhere that space adventures are like you have when you have a near death experience. Mm. Yeah. So. So. Well, you've had a, you've had a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So including your foot, why. including your foot getting run over this week, near death. Oh yeah, these things happen, new women. The power got cut this morning when I was at work for for an hour. Did it? What happened? Yeah. Why, why, why was that? Oh, the substation blew up. Blew up. Yeah. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, we had to um, go on to the generator, you know, minimum lighting around the hotel. Stick on, stick on the Jenny. Yeah, stick on the Jenny, yeah. So it took them about an hour to get the power going again. So, yeah, we, we got ourselves through that one there, weren't we? So what's your poem about today? What's my poem about today? It's about looking above the clouds there, weren't we, you know, because we've been having a lot of, well, cloudy weather, to say the least. <laughs> so you did ring up to tell, tell me about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, where my met I ran up to tell you about atoms. Uh, atoms. And now we're actually formed of we're really atoms, aren't we? And yeah. Maybe it's what the singular was. It was the, the explosion of the atom. Right. Big bang. But anyway, I'll read you my poem here, where I okay. have, yeah. I'll, it could be called ima- imaginary. Okay. All right. Let's hear it. I'll talk about creative license here. Well, some of, oh, this was brought to you by Jamie Zadiman, by the way. With some of my baggage, I feel like a cabbage. I find a physical language. I lift my head, I lift my head above the cloud, take away the mind shroud, and say out aloud that I am proud. I can see over the crowd that my life follows a pattern of a semi-autonomous atom, ex- experimenting reality in the same galaxy as Saturn. I feel I light up like a Chinese lantern. Share my fantasy. The world and its inhabitants, my majesty. When we interact, we follow a trajectory that leads us on our own personal trajectory. We would eat lots of lovely confectionery. We're happy even when we're stationary. Then realise our fears are imaginary. It's all in your mind, Tristan Morgan. It's all in their mind. It's all about perception there, Wemo. It certainly is. It's a placebo Especially effect. <laughs> hey, talk to you next week. Hey, there, mate. Have a good week. See you all. Tristan Morgan's run through time. Hey, it's the end of the show. You're listening to the Radio Wemo Breakfast. Only on Kiwi. All right. Well, who do we have? Well, of course, we had Tristan just there. Thank you very much, Tristan. Uh, Janine Young, our new scientist correspondent. Uh, some interesting stories, as Tristan was just referring to there, about uh, perception and thinking yourself a clearer TV picture. Uh, also, this morning, Bronwyn Sell, the book, go get it. It's called Law Breakers and Mischief Makers, 50 Notorious New Zealanders. Uh, we learnt just about uh, just a few of them this morning, just a few of those notorious New Zealanders. Also... Rialto Pick of the Week film review this week with John Henderson was North Face. Well worth a look in as well. Oh, and Daniel Nielsen's uh, letter from Copenhagen. Tomorrow on the show, Spider Hunter, our personal trainer's back. Miriam Clancy playing live in the Cube FM studio. Nice treat, nice and early, just after 8 o'clock. Sam Hunt will have a little something for the weekend. Paul Brislin will talk, be talking high tech and something new on the show as well. A regular Jason Bryant, a.k.a. Wine Vault TV. Come on on in to talk wine. That's the way we like to finish a Friday. Radio. Angelina's up next. Enjoy the rest of Thursday. Very shortly we're off to the Radio Live News Centre. Good day, everyone. Kiwi. Commercial free weekdays. 10 till 4.